inspired to write Maria's Island, which is a retelling of my novel, The Island, um, by a conversation with a teacher here in Crete. And she said to me, I'd love to read The Island to my pupils, but I can't because it's a little bit too adult. But the themes of stigma and of isolation and of loss and courage and hope are all relevant for children. So um, along with Jill Smith, the illustrator, we collaborated to create this really beautiful book that tells the story of Spinalonga through the eyes of a child. The story focuses on the village of Plaka, where we are today, and this little island behind me, Spinalonga, which for 50 years was a place where people with an incurable disease of leprosy were sent. And my story focuses on one family uh, where the mother discovers she has leprosy and she has to go and live over in Spinalonga and the impact of that on her family, how they survive, how she survives. Um, and in a sense, I suppose it, it's a story about her courage and the um, effect on the children that this has. It has, I should say, a very happy ending, uh, which I think is important to know, um, because any story about a disease might make people a little bit afraid, but actually, um, in the end, the reason that Spinalonga is no longer inhabited with patients with leprosy is that the cure was found in the 1950s. So, a happy end, but with lots of um, obstacles on the way. I think Spinalonga remains a relevant place today, and every year hundreds of thousands of visitors cross the sea to walk around, uh, to absorb the atmosphere and to learn about the lives that people live there. Um, between 1903 and 1957, people who went to Spinalonga never came back uh, because there was no cure for leprosy. And many of them actually survived for maybe decades because leprosy is not a fast growing disease, it can destroy your body very, very slowly. So the people who went there actually went to live as well as knowing that they would probably die there. So I think in the last year it's felt more relevant than ever, Spinner Longer, because we've all faced a new disease which we've all been afraid of. And I think perhaps the new relevance is to celebrate the work of scientists the amazing miracle that they perform of um, bringing solutions to what one day seems incurable and the next we have the happy ending. There are so many things that I love um, about Greece and in particular Crete. It would, I could feel um, hours telling you about them but a little example happened today. Um, my neighbour came round um, bringing me a huge bag with probably 10, 15 each inside, lemons, tomatoes, oranges, all from his own garden. Um, and I think it's the generosity of spirit in Crete that I love so much that people share. Um, I'd say nobody goes hungry in Crete. It would be very, very rare that you wouldn't have a neighbour helping you out. And that, to me, is the, the beauty of this place. Um, and then, of course, the physical beauty. Any season, there is something that completely takes my breath away. Um, I'm here in spring, and I just gathered these um, outside my house, growing out of a rock. Um, wildflowers everywhere. So favourite things, almost too many to name, but definitely the, the beauty of the landscape and the, the generosity of the people. <laughs>